don't let the badge fool you the brand new compact Jaguar crossover are quite gasoline fueled. Disarray over the name clearly clowned a few launch attendees though, pre-drive deliberation focused on whether it would have sufficient battery endurance to get us the 60 miles to lunch in Brighton, an iconic seaside resort on England's southern coast, such are the priorities of jet lag road testers. The aid palpable when it was realized good all internal combustion influence intense a variety of over 400 miles by the mentioned EPA combined figure. And our fish and chips wouldn't be going cold, the fully electric I-PACE will join the crossover lineup eventually, but for now the E-PACE is a more conventional junior collaborator to the F-PACE. The fastest selling vehicle Jaguar has ever constructed. Why wouldn't it wishes to capitalize on that with the smaller, more affordable but equally stylish second framework pipeline? With a $38,600 starting cost it's nearly $3,500 cheaper than the equivalent entry points to the F-Pace and the Vogue assortment spot, as we'll hear, with a persona of its own. If the E-Pace looks like a somewhat truncated F-Pace with some sharper torso detailing and a sportier face. Then little wonder, the basic cables are familiar but it's 13.3 inches shorter overall and 7.6 inches reductions in wheelbase. It surges taller as a result but is more or less identical to the F-Pace in Summit, with harder margins, reversal slash ads in the flanks that catch the daylight and a slinky stem lid helping make it look lower and wider than it actually is. The major difference for the purposes of the scalp is the E-PACE's transverse engine layout. The basic footings shared with the above and distantly relevant to Ford's UGG platform. This is a Washington's Axe situation, though, as the fundamental rights layout and middle floor pan are similar to the Evox, but the front subframe and rear suspension all brand new. The powertrain is more closely related, being based on Jaguar Land Rover's 2.0-liter Ingenium turbocharged gasoline locomotive and driving all four wheels through an unspeed automatic transmission. There are two influence options 246 horsepower for high standards auto and 2 296 horsepower for the R Dynamic Simulates. Likewise used on the Evoc, the active driveline system on our Dynamic Simulates is based around GKN's twinster rear axle unit, with full to work vectoring in all the regions of the rear axle when committed. And if this is suddenly reverberating buzzers, that's because, yes, it's the same hardware perverted by Ford to move the Focus RS into an oversteering. Drift mode improved to Unigan. Unlike Ford, Jaguar doesn't overspeed the back axle to contrive that oversteering equilibrium, though it was apparently believed early in the developing. Durability concerns and the fact that soccer mamas are likely more interested in all weather traction than starting full can block put get paid to that suggestion. But the influence advantage over close rivals like the 228 horsepower BMW X1 X Drive 28i and 200. 108 horsepower Mercedes Glad 250 in 10 Jaguar has the sportiest option in its class. The E-Pace's influence builds itself experienced in the first few miles of the test road. Jaguar could have played residents advantage and routed us onto suitably smooth and flattering roads. Instead we're straight onto the bumpy concrete surfaced orbital expressway that surrounds London before manager off a long tight and twisty English lanes whose occasionally haphazard pavement is covered with the slippery carpet of wet foliages. Our test car is the more powerful framework, more or less equivalent to the $53,100 MSRP aerodynamic HSC topping stateside price lists. For a time limit there's also a $53,550 first edition model with unique Caldera red paint and 20-inch wheels use the 246 HP motor. Jaguar has always adored big wheel, and the 20S on this auto gaze good but the thin sidewalls can't blunt the intrusion of expansion joints and potholes. Forever variable damps as part of the active dynamics package will be available in due course but our exempt vehicles have passive struts, so below 30 miles per hour the E-Pace evidence is a brittle back. As the velocities increase this diminishes and the brand's logo torso power comes to the prowl. The integral link rear suspension is key here. Differences of this setup used in all the regions of the Jaguar and Land Rover assortments and designed to both improve wheel power and packaging. 
with less intrusion to stem space than the Evox setup, in the Jaguar style, the E-Pace experiences as composed and stable in the middle of its stamp apoplexy as it is when decided. This flowing persona assisted by the well-weighted and positive steer, the E-Pace's influence builds itself experienced in the first few miles of the test road. Jaguar could have played residence advantage and routed us onto suitably smooth and flattering roads. Instead we're straight onto the bumpy, concrete-surfaced orbital expressway that surrounds London before manager off a long tight and twisty English lanes whose occasionally haphazard pavement is covered with the slippery carpet of wet foliage. Our test car is the more powerful framework, more or less equivalent to the $53,100 MSRP Aerodynamic HSC topping stateside price lists. For a time limit there's also a $53,550 first edition model with unique Caldera red paint and 20-inch wheels use the 246 HP motor. Jaguar has always adored big wheel, and the 20S on this auto gaze good but the thin sidewalls can't blunt the intrusion of expansion joints and potholes. Forever variable damps as part of the active dynamics package will be available in due course but our exempt vehicles have passive struts, so below 30 miles per hour the E-Pace evidence is a brittle back. As the velocities increase this diminishes and the brand's logo torso power comes to the prowl. The integral link rear suspension is key here. Differences of this setup used in all the regions of the Jaguar and Land Rover assortments and designed to both improve wheel power and packaging with less intrusion to stem space than the Evox setup. In the Jaguar style, the E-Pace experiences as composed and stable in the middle of its stamp apoplexy as it is when decided. This flowing persona assisted by the well-weighted and positive steer, 